Hello lovely family, welcome back once again to my channel. You're from me Obapa Afrakuma and I bring to you Obapa Afrakuma's kitchen. So in today's recipe, I'm going to share with you how I made my Impotom Puto. So Impotom Puto is one of Ghana's best cuisines made with coco yam or yam and it's also known as yam porridge or yam pottage and it's also called asaro from Nigeria from the Yorubas. So this is one of the best Ghana cuisine and trust me you will love the taste of this please do not forget to subscribe like share my videos to all your friends and family so that you can enjoy these beautiful recipes as well stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video Alright family, so these are all the ingredients you, you need for your impotent butter and of course I'm using some yam, you can use some coco yam. Our protein today, I'm using some herrings, some beef and then I've got my stinking fish which is called kako and I'm also using some catfish fillets. You can get this from any supermarket of your choice. So my veggies, I'm going for a carrot, onion, spring onion, some tomatoes and then some scotch bonnet chilies. I'm using some palm oil and my spices, aroma spices, shrimp cube powder and then some salt to taste. So just go ahead, cut your yam, I mean peel them, wash them beautifully and I'm going to cut them into small cube sizes. So you can cut them into any shapes of your choice and as I said earlier, you can use yam or coco yam for this recipe and this won't I mean spoil our recipe at all so just go ahead cut your yam beautifully and we are going to wash this nicely as well so as you can see this is all done looking beautifully and it's all washed clean and ready to be boiled so in a hot boiling water just go ahead add your yam into that and we are putting our vegetables in there as well so that's my onion carrots and um, tomatoes and some scotch bonnet chili i'm adding all my protein as well so my beef my herrings my cacao which is a stinking fish they're all going in there as well and don't forget your cats and um, fish fillets as well so this is looking beautifully and we are going to add our spices on top of that so just be careful of your spices so that you don't put too much into that so as you can see this is all done all ready to be boiled and get I mean cooked properly so that is our yam our proteins and our veggies all in one part and it's looking all good so I'm just going to cover this and leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes to get this cooked properly so as you can see, this is looking all good, all ready, all done. Our vegetables are looking so good. So I'm just going to take out my vegetables to blend. And as you can see, the tomatoes is okay. The scotch bonnet chilies, the carrots are all cooked beautifully. And also don't forget your onion, just take it out as well. And then blend all this together. So um, as you can see, this is all done and the consistency we want this is a fine, smooth, um, I mean blended consistency. This is looking all good. So just go ahead, put them in your um, yam and it's ready, I mean, to, to get done with this. So um, allow this to cook about um, 10 to 15 minutes again and then don't forget to give this a stir. This is looking all good. It smells so good in my kitchen as, as you can see. This is a one pot dish and it's looking so good it's very tasty as well once you're watching this please don't forget to subscribe like share my videos to all your friends and families and they will love this recipe so this is all beautifully done and i'm going to leave this to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes
So at this point, I'm just going to mash a little bit of my yam in there. So some people want this, um, I mean, all the um, jam or coco yam to be mashed and completely, but I like to eat a little bit of chunky um, yam or tech yam. Um, so, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to mash everything or leave some chunks in there. As you can see, this is done and it's looking all beautifully. And I'm going ahead to add my palm oil on top of that. And oh, this smells so good. It smells so amazing. It is all good. And I'm adding some onions just for some flavor. And I'm going to go ahead to add some spring onions on there. And it's mm, 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 looking so good. Please don't forget to try it.